This is my initial reaction and review of the TM indoor cycling shoe. Compared to a traditional Shimano SPD shoe. Now, I gotta say one thing. That Shimano developed the SPD cleat and they designed the shoe for the cleat. So they designed the shoe specifically designed for that cleat. Now, therefore, it's very easy to engage this SPD cleat. Don't mind this is an old shoe. These sh shoes are th over three years old. They don't look good, but they still work great. Now, initial reaction. Comparing the ease of use of engaging this shoe into the paddle of the S, uh, excuse me, I'm reviewing the TM versus the SPD. I will say that the use, uh, ease of use of the Shimano shoe on the SPD clip pedal is very easy and it's not even that difficult for a, a beginner. Now, the TM is problematic because as you'll see here, the clip is flush with the shoe here. Now, the TM is extremely hard to get into, engage on the pedal, and in the uh, description of this video, I'll include a link to another video of me trying to get engaged of the TM shoe into the SPD pedal. Here's where the problem is. Is that focused? Is this SPD clip is countersunk into the shoe. So the shoe tread pattern here, the shoe, uh, can't shoe this, the shoe tread pattern here, this clip is countersunk inside. Therefore, it makes it a lot harder to engage. If you see in my video, in the description of this video is a link to another YouTube video. It's very difficult. So I would just say that these shoes are not recommended for new riders. And here's what I've been doing actually. I've been riding these shoes for almost a year and a half. I engage the shoe onto the pedal and then get in the uh, shoe later on. It's not practical for most people.